This is case number 20 on the calendar in the matter of Men's versus Ben Israel. Thank you. You're welcome, Judge. Parties have been sworn in. You may be seated. Ma'am, have a seat, please. Ms. Men's, the defendant has a house cleaning service yes. company. And according to your complaint, you were an employee of his for some time. Yes. You worked at an hourly wage. Yes. At some point, you asked him for a raise. Yes. Which he reluctantly gave you. Not but true. according to both of you, because I've read your answer. One of the things that you said to her was, don't tell any of the other employees because I'm giving you a raise, but I'm not necessarily raising their hourly rate. Would that be a fair statement of what I read in your answer? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. OK. So that would yes, be a yes. Yeah. I'm giving you a raise. Don't tell anybody else. Yeah. Now, I guess I'm going to start with you, Mr. Ben Israel. Uh, First of all, you have a counterclaim. Yeah. Because she says you owe her wages, that you fired her. And when you fired her, there was an outstanding bill that you had for her hourly wage. What your service does, if I'm not mistaken, is you have clients, yeah. and your clients hire your company to provide people to clean their homes. Correct. Let's say you charge your clients $25 an hour. Right. You pay your employees $15 an hour. You make $10 an hour. Right. Your counterclaim is twofold in her request for her last paycheck. One, you say she has some of your cleaning equipment. Correct. Now, I'm not an idiot and this is not show and tell. I assume that's his cleaning stuff. That is. Officer Bird, would you, before you get to six across, would you take this <laughs> and send it over it's to the defendant? It's also the uniform. Just a second. He's sending it. <laughs> Thank you. I thought that was funny, Bert. It was hilarious. <laughs> it was six down. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you have Mr. Ben Israel. That's what she has that belongs to you. The second part of your complaint is that you look. Just a second. The second part of your complaint is that you lost a customer. And the customer that you lost was a customer that Miss Menz had been working for. And she canceled her service with you after you fired Miss Menz. So another part of your counterclaim is for slander and loss of business. Yeah. Do you have that person with you? The answer is yes or no. Do I have what person? The person who fired you. No, I do not. Well, so that you have no cause of action for slander. I have, I have an email associated with her. Firing you? Yeah, uh, the, the client I'd not like, wanting to hire. I would like, just a second, even though it's hearsay, I'm going to read it and see whether I think there's anything slanderous, like you have a sexually transmitted disease or you I'm are playing. a pedophile or something, or whether she's just saying he's a dishonest businessman who didn't pay me my last week's salary check. Okay. Now that's from our, a client. You mean the email part where she says that the plaintiff said that you were refusing to pay her overtime so she's no longer working for Pure Clean? Is that the email yes. that you... Just a second. Yeah. I want to be clear. Yeah. This is what you say is slander. Well, her conversation with that client about a statement that was not true is essentially why we got fired. So she Just told... Just a second. What does essentially not true mean? I mean okay, it is, it's not true. What's not true? The statement of her not getting paid overtime. She, by the state of Minnesota, she wasn't even entitled to overtime. Just a second. That's not slander. So your counterclaims now dismissed. But she... Listen to my words. This didn't say we're firing your firm, Mr. Ben Israel, because... The person who's operating the firm is a pedophile. He's a thief. He employs underage children. Didn't say any of those things that are illegal or anything gross, right? right? She said she had a salary dispute with you because you were refusing to pay her overtime. But and the question about whether she was entitled to overtime is a question of fact. So she's allowed to say to the people that she was working for, I got fired because I asked for overtime, and he refused to pay me overtime, and therefore he fired me. She's allowed to say that. So what I'm telling you is, you have no case against her. Okay. Period. Now I'm moving forward, Mr. Well, ben Israel. It wasn't according to the state of Minnesota. I don't care whether I told it's her according that she knew to the gospel of St. Paul. It doesn't matter. It's <laughs> not slander. Do you get it? No, I don't. Can you well, please give me Well, then go to law school. I'm telling you, it's not slander.